and we got an entire song. We wrote basically the whole entire uh, Little Fictions came out in, in one go, basically, um, in that session. And um, it sort of resulted, um, it, it was the result of a, a, a pretty a long catch up and a, a deep chat about where we were at in life. And um, yeah, the, uh, the song was written just a couple of weeks before lockdown, the first UK lockdown. And actually at that time, I don't think either of us could have guessed what was about to happen. We just really had no idea what the world was about to, to become. Um, and, um, so we weren't, you know, f focusing in on that. We were more talking about our shared experiences of, of being humans and being artists. Um, and, uh, I sort of led the session on the guitar and, and Rebecca was helping guide guide the lyrics, um, trying to get to the crux of what we were feeling. And, um, you know, the song has turned out to be really focused on um, that idea of that, that we all have um, certain voices in our heads that try and sabotage us or take us down or, um, you know, that negative voice. Um, I certainly do and I, I know a lot of my artist friends do as well and it's so unhelpful when you're trying to just carve your way through life to have those voices but they're just thoughts you know and they they, they have they hold so much power but we also have uh you know the power to take control back um and we can we can tell ourselves different narratives and stories um so yeah so it's about that it's about um uh you, being kind to yourself, you know, life's going to happen and, and, and life, um, is a series of just unknowns and challenges. And, um, the best thing you can do is, is be a friend to yourself when, when things don't go so smoothly instead of turning in on yourself. Um, another thing that, you know, I have experience in and, um, I know a lot of people do. So it's about a few things. There's a, you know, there's a, uh, uh, an air of just self-love, you know, and promoting that idea that you can, you can, you can support yourself through life challenges. Um, and so, yeah, so we came up with this song, but you know, then the pandemic happened and I started playing it on these live streams, which I'd never done before. I'd never done a live stream. And then I found myself doing them. And I realized that the lyrics, um, were just strangely relevant and, and kind of prophetic you know there's a line in the song um I'm sick of this place I've got to get out you know and that really took on a whole new meaning um just a few short weeks after writing it um but anyway I you know I hope that the song has brought some comfort to people going through this a similar thing of of doubting where they're at in life or in their career or in their relationships um but but yeah you know we we just started talking out, um, talking about where we were at and we just built line after line off, you know, from there. It, it's different. Every, every co-write, I don't really have, um, a specific set way that I write a song. I just go in with a, with being quite open to what might come out. And, um, I was ple pleasantly surprised by, by this session and I'm really proud of the song and, um, you know, I hope it resonates with a lot of people. Um, I couldn't obviously get it recorded for a long time because there were no studios open and we couldn't all, you know, get together and do that. So when I finally got the chance to do that in um, October 2021, um, I got to get, go back over to Nashville. My friend Stephen Lywicki, who runs that studio, said, well, what are we going to record? What do you have? And I, I honestly didn't have a lot at that point. I, I since have written more songs and I didn't write a lot through the pandemic, but I had this one song and I just jumped at the chance to record it and use, you know, the incredible musicians that are uh, available in Nashville. So Stephen got together a great group um, and we recorded the, the, the bones of the song um, there. And um, it just felt so good being back in the studio. I, you know, something happened within me. I think having lost that ability to do that for so long, I just relished in it. And um, I went big. I went big on the vocals. I went big on the production. Um, and you know it's my it's kind of comeback comeback song um and i felt so 
um, relaxed that I think, you know, the, the, the delivery and the performance of the song I'm just so, so pleased with. So we have the, you know, the, the crux of it and the bones of it um, recorded there in, in, uh, in Nashville, in East Nashville at Yakland Studios, Stephen Studios. Um, but all the while, I knew that I wanted a big string section, orchestral cinematic. Um, that's what the song calls for. Um, actually, after Rebecca and I wrote, wrote it, I added um, a couple of key changes and the song just got bigger and bigger. And um, um, so it needed something to match that. Um, so I called upon my, my great friend here in the UK, a composer uh, called Johnny, uh, Johnny Parry. And he is just so talented and he just somehow got into my brain and just knew exactly what I wanted. And he um, arranged this string part and, and recorded the string part with a couple of other friends, um, Anne-Marie Kirby and Ed Ireland. Um, and they just created magic. It's so, um, I'm just so thrilled. Uh, and then when we put the two parts together, the strings and the recording, and you know, it just, it just exactly what, what I dreamed of. So I'm really proud of the song. Um, and, you know, like I say, I hope that people are moved by it and they, they it, it, it makes them think about their relationship with, with doubt and themselves and how, how, you know, maybe it'll make some people think, um, that they need to go a little easier on themselves and not be so quite so hard on themselves because life's going to happen. And, um, you know, it's, I find it personally very helpful to, to just ease off, um, attacking myself when those things kind of, kind of things happen. So, um, so yeah, that's how the song came about. And I, I really hope that you like it.